Have you ever tried the new Nexus mod manager, but you struggle with the mod or even the official tutorial? Well, worry no more. I have read your comments, by the way, thanks for the kind words, and because of that, decided to make a step-by-step -step tutorial of my own. Here's what you'll need. An account on nexusmods.com and to install the mod itself. Oh, and um, uh, like this video. It doesn't work without it. Step number one, getting to the Nexus mod manager. Once you've gone to the mod menu to get the Nexus mod manager, you want to press play and click on yes. After it loads and you're in this menu, click on back to return to the main menu. You should now see the Nexus option on the right. Step number two, login and authorization. When you first click on it, it'll open up a browser for you to log into your account. After you log in, click on authorize and continue. Back in game, you'll get a recommendation for a premium account and an option to watch the official tutorial. Click on no thanks and now you're in the mod manager. Step number three, setting up a bookmarklet. Because we're going the freeway, it makes things just a little more complicated. Open up the meta menu and open your browser. Search for mod.io, then click open game portal and then click on blade and sorcery. Here you want to find the nexus mod manager and open it. Scroll down a little and here you want to copy this whole script like this. Then up here click on create a bookmark. Rename it to whatever you want and in the URL you want to paste the copied script then click on save. Step number four, getting your mod. Now that you've installed the mod and made your bookmark, let's get a mod. When you choose a simple mod that has no requirements and you click on download, it will open up the nexusmods.com page for the mod. Here you want to click on slow download, wait for a few seconds, and once it says your download has started, click on the three lines on the top right of your browser. Click on bookmarks and click on the saved bookmark you've made with the script and your download should start right away. But what if I found a mod that has multiple requirements? Well, the process is the same. The only difference is that once you click on download in the mod manager, it will open up all of the requirements as well as the mod at once and you'll have to go through the process with each of them. So overall it has a more complicated first setup than what happens if you have a premium account but afterwards it makes things much easier and has a prettier vanilla style menu than the Nexus installer v2. If you have any issues I haven't gone through make sure to leave a comment where I or other members of the community might help out. Huge thanks to my members and I'll see you in the next one.